Oklahoma Lottery is cashing in record high revenue, and that translates to record investments in education. Fox 25's Peyton May joining us now live. So Peyton, how much of the money actually goes to classrooms? Well, Wendy, I paid $3 for this scratch off ticket and with every $1 around 25 cents goes towards education. Now, as more and more Oklahomans are looking for that winning ticket, the pot of money is growing. The last two years, we've been about 87 million. If you go back to 2017, it was 53 million. So you can see kind of that big, the jump that we've had. As the executive director of the Lottery Commission, Jay Finks has taken a gamble on the state's success. And so far, he's got a winning hand. Finks says that's due to a recent law getting rid of some of the prize limits. It's really kind of set that in motion. So more prizes, more people win, more people play. And that's really set us into this kind of record setting uh, last few years. And of that pool of money, education takes the jackpot. Since our existence, over 1.3 billion that the lottery has done towards education. Each around $80 million a year brings wins for players, wins for students, and wins for teachers. Of the first 65 million, about half goes to common ed and half goes to higher ed. That's kind of how the formula works. And then everything over 65 million goes to what's called a teacher empowerment fund, and that's a fund for teacher pay raises. But Finks wants to raise the wager, betting that the state will make more money if players aren't limited to in-person betting. Our, our push right now is to try to get iLottery. iLottery is the ability to play uh, on your phone or on a computer, but really playing over the internet. So you, you forgot to go buy your Powerball ticket in the drawings tonight, you could go on your phone, buy a Powerball ticket. You could play a scratch ticket on your phone. There's about 14 or 15 states that have it right now. Currently, online gaming is illegal in Oklahoma, and there's been an ongoing battle between the tribes and the governor to change that. Now, I wasn't a winner today, but I did contribute to education. Reporting live, Peyton May, Fox 25 News.